Hello everybody, this is John Corey Jackson of ChicagoBullsWeb.net Come see you with another video As we all know, well, as some of you may know The NFL Draft is going on this weekend um, The last couple of rounds, if I'm not mistaken So Thursday night I know, you, I know you guys may be asking what this had to do with the Chicago Bulls or basketball But I'm getting to the point the New York football giants had a pick, a very, very high pick. And they had a chance to go after Dwayne Haskins, some of these other defensive guys from Alabama and the guy from Clemson. I can't think of his name right now. But they picked a the guy who hasn't had a winning record in his own conference. Quarterback from Duke. Um, so my point is that they, the, the, what is said is the relationship between the Mannings and the quarterback. I can't think of his name right now. Um, the Giants drafted. It's because the, he was drafted because the relationship he has with the Mannings and within the coaching staff or something like that. But my point is to the Chicago Bulls. What can the Chicago Bulls learn from the New York Giants? Take the best player available, Chicago, in this draft. If somebody fell off the, the steps of their house and didn't draft Zion, please get him. If John Morant is available, still at our pick, hopefully he is, that's the guy I want the Bulls to pick. Pick this guy. The Bulls right now are at a place where they got to start. Okay, the rebuilding has went okay in my opinion. Some mis mishaps, I would say, with the the signing, some of the signings of um, in particular Parker, Jabari Parker. I didn't like it from jump, and I'm glad they was able to get something for him in a trade. That um, and yeah, just a few missteps here and there. Um, I'm still on guard pack side at the moment, but you got to take the best player available. Don't let don't let what you think of a player or feel for a player. Cloud your judgment. So if you got packs, I think you're on bar time right now. The fans have been angry with Gar Packs for years now. Gar Foreman and John Paxson. I think they're doing an okay job. I think now with the rebuild, it's it's going in the direction it should have been years ago, in my opinion. Um and you can comment below in the comment section to let me know how you feel about it otherwise. But take the best player available, not the, the guy that you formed a, a friendship with or whatever. So that's one thing the Chicago Bulls can learn from the New York Giants. Not saying this guy, the quarterback, can't turn into a great player. Obviously he can, but all the experts, so-called experts anyway, say this guy is just an average quarterback. And he's a backup at best, so... The Bulls can't afford to mortgage their future like that. It's just too much at stake at this point now. And we got some of these guys, these rookies, soon are going to be coming up for those contracts. So we just have to make sure that we're evaluating talent the right way as, as the Chicago Bulls and that we're making the moves that make the team better. I mean, I, there's no reason. I'm going to say it again. There's no reason. If you look at the teams that were in the playoffs, at the bottom spots in the East. Detroit Pistons, Orlando Magic. Chicago Bulls, that's your barrier. And I mean, that's your barrier. You should be able to compete with those teams for a playoff spot. There's no ifs, ands, or buts. Um, just my opinion. So with that being said, guys, thanks for checking out the video. I know I kind of rambled a little bit. But the point I wanted to make is that the Chicago Bulls really need to make the best out of this upcoming draft. Get a best player if Zion is available 
for whatever fortune we may have, get them. If John Moran's available, get them. So, yeah, that's the point I want to make. So, thanks, guys, again for checking out the video. Like, comment, subscribe, and follow me on my social media. And also, I have a blog about the Chicago Bulls. I love the team. And some other basketball-related stuff that you'll enjoy. I'm sure you'll find something that you like. And the link to that will be below in the description box as well to box, excuse me, I can't talk, box as well as my access to my social media platforms. So get, thanks guys for checking out the video. God bless and enjoy your day.